It's not an easy life, but who wants an easy life? Many artists gave up and tried to do something they didn't feel comfortable with. He never did. He's always been true to his beliefs. In the past several years, there's been a sharp rise in a crime called industrial looting. Thieves rip out aluminum bleachers, copper They backed a big flatbed up and had a crane. ...the value of their metal. More recently, thieves have targeted massive bronze sculptures. They were not stolen for their aesthetic value. They were uh, stolen in order to get money for drugs. Daniel Crocker has the story. A few weeks ago, sculptor John Waddell took some out-of-town guests on a tour of a sculpture garden on his ranch side of Sedona. Arizona when I heard the news. Thieves had stolen several artworks from my friend and mentor, artist John Waddell. Okay, Jennifer, I'm ready to go again. Stunned by the news, I worried about John. I hadn't seen him in several years, so I extended my trip and headed north to the Waddell studio. Right foot. I first made this trip 32 years ago. At the time, I was a graduate student studying film, and I'd agreed to model for John. Today, after a filmmaking career that he largely encouraged, I realized it's time to turn the camera on him. John Waddell is a nationally acclaimed sculptor who's chosen to live and work outside the mainstream of modern and contemporary art. He's made nearly 200 life-size figures. Many of them grace the grounds of his ranch. 86 now, John is finishing a new work called Rising. Hours and hours I draw and I paint and I put on the clay and I do all that, and it doesn't happen. And then it happens. And I don't exactly know how to make it happen, so I try to work all the time, because I know the more I work, the chances are greater that it'll happen again. <clears throat> to make a life-size figure, first of all, I have to be in, inspired by a a person. Usually that involves a period of time where I just do maybe little paintings. I may do a, a, okay. a series of drawings. The right arm is going to go more toward the corner. I may do even some small figures because you're reaching up and you're going to grab. And all that tells me whether this person is going to have the stamina to sit for a life-size figure. Okay, same. I've been working with John since about 2004. And rest. My time with the person that's posing is actually between 150 and 200 hours. Are you warm enough? Okay. 
it's critical to have people that are responding that can change. He tries to capture the essence of the model. And that's why he's so great to work for, because you don't have to hold the pose in for two, three hours. And it's not an exact science. It's more like an essence thing. <laughs>